East Palo Alto is surrounded by water on three sides, the bay on two sides, and a creek on the other. 20 years ago, high tides and heavy storm rains combined to breach a levee here and devastated entire neighborhoods in East Palo Alto. The 1998 flood was certainly significant and very scary. We had thousands of people who had to be moved from their homes, but future flooding, if we don't do what we're proposing to do today, could lead to major catastrophic just raising of homes. That's because climate scientists warn that warming causing rising seas could increase the water level of San Francisco Bay by around 2 feet by 2030 and 7 feet by 2100. It could exacerbate flooding in areas already prone to it, such as East Palo Alto. There are large Latino, Black, and Pacific Islander communities in this two and a half square mile city. East Palo Alto has a very large low income population that participates in the service sector for Silicon Valley. We work cleaning your homes, we work in your restaurants, those lower income jobs that because of the pay, people cannot live any other place in Silicon Valley, but they can live here, it's a low income community. A lot of these families don't have savings. A lot of these families, a climate extreme may tip, you know, their ability to stay together. By sea level rise. Violet Wufsa Enna is preparing East Palo Alto residents for climate change. She migrated to the Bay Area from the Pacific Islands of Samoa, where she was the country's first climate change officer. After listening to community leaders, the Matais, the village leaders there, the last thing they wanted to do is to leave their ancestral land. So we ended up building a seawall um, to protect the village, and the whole community supported the project, even provided resources and labor. So, Here too, she says, residents are eager to stay. Mayor Carlos Romero notes while the city and local agencies have made significant improvements, including rebuilding building part of this levee. Three quarters of their land remains unprotected from rising seas. I am very confident that it will get done, number one, because there's political will, but probably more importantly, there is a resurgence of community interest and activism to make sure that flooding will not displace us. Even as East Palo Alto improves its infrastructure and braces for climate change, many locals fear another kind of incursion from real estate developers looking for their next big profitable project. East Palo Alto is peppered with new development. This lot here has five big homes going up on it. The next one over has about four. A lot of these projects being proposed, we are doing our best to engage the community in these conversations, to build community capacity to participate so that they can voice their concerns. For the mayor, it's a matter of making sure solutions are for all in East Palo Alto. The levees for East Palo Alto represent, number one, a physical structure, its protection. But it has more symbolic meaning. And that symbolic meaning is care and nurturing of a community that is here and that deserves to be nurtured and deserves to be protected, just like any other higher income community around the Bay. This work holds promise for residents in East Palo Alto, but it won't be finished for about a decade. And while levees are slowly being built, the seas are still predicted to continue to rise. In East Palo Alto, I'm Ezra David Romero for KQED Newsroom.